good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. A few hours ago, I got a pretty interesting email from a longtime follower. Um, you know, the guy has uh, always been loyal to me. I don't want to disrespect the guy, although he's a very unorthodox person. He's been sending, I don't know, strange emails for like a long time, but he's a good dude, all right? And he is a Muslim, and he doesn't like the fact that I have been talking down on Brittany Renner's conversion to Islam. Now, first of all, I want to replay what Brittany Renner did when she wanted to become a Muslim. First of all, honey, you know what I've noticed? <laughs> In any message I share for the record always applies to myself. Like, I'm not exempt just because I'm sharing it. <laughs> So I've noticed that we want to sign your sign. Mind you, we've been getting dreams, songs, angel numbers, that post that came across our feed that just so happened to apply to our situation. But we want the sign to be on the billboard in big red letters lit up with glitter. And it's almost as if we're waiting for this moment to feel ready. You're not going to feel ready for something you've never done. That's why you have to get pushed. We're, and we're also waiting for us to trust the outside world and the people in it. But a bird doesn't trust the branch it lands on. It trusts its wings. And you should do the same. First of all, hi. So I'm currently cleaning house, out with the old and with the new, manifesting a new wardrobe, inshallah. I have no idea how this is gonna look. I have contractual obligations, clothes to wear, posts to do, <laughs> bills that have to be paid, and, um, you know, showing up the best I can, right? Because I know that it's not going to be perfect. I know that people may have a gripe. I mean, my arms are out, right? First of all, it's hot, and then I sweat like a puddle under my armpits. Not an excuse, but looking into Botox under my arms and finding clothes that are more aligned with where I'm headed, even if it's not to the book perfect. That's what this is all about for me, is I'm just gonna show up and give my best, and every day my best gets better. This is Brittany Renner's words, not mine. And what I said was, Brittany Renner is trying to pretend to be something like a born again Christian, which is pretty much trying to revamp herself or wipe herself and her sins away by shifting to Islam although she's definitely disrespecting the culture. This guy sent me this. There is no such thing as a born again Muslim. Stop trying to put Christian terms on a Muslim woman. She may or may not fly right, but she's my sister now in Islam. I may or may not be wrong about her. Allah knows best. The Quran says the prophet Muhammad is not a manager over his people numerous times. I'm not a manager over her either. So what I'm saying at your video title on Kanganda is clickbait. You should educate yourself more on Islam and not just put your understanding on these videos. Lean not unto your own understanding, <clears throat> which is Proverbs 3 and 5. That's interesting. You're quoting the scriptures. But firstly, I never talked about Brittany Renner on Kanganda. So I guess you should do your research. But OK, sir, she's your Muslim sister right now, right? OK, I don't like disrespecting anybody's religion. I have a lot of respect for people in Islam. Um, I live in Africa. I have a many, many, many uh, Islamic friends. They're great people, okay? Just like I have many Christian friends. And um, if I wasn't Christian, I'd probably be Islam, right? Probably be a Muslim. But I have a question, sir. If this your sister in Islam, why is Brittany Renner still have all of her pictures half naked on her page? I mean, you can go and click and look now all of the thotty pictures and some of them we can't even show are on her page. Now you tell me what traditional Islamic woman who converts to Islam or has converted to Islam or has grew up in Islam has these things on her page. And again, the only thing I can say about a guy like you is two words, bro. Stop simping. And that's exactly what you're doing. You are simping, okay? You are disrespecting your own religion 
by allowing some lady to come out there and just do whatever she wants. And oh, we can't judge her. Well, hold on. You can't judge her. I bet you if you were having a debate with a Christian pastor or a Christian woman, you will point this out soon enough. Oh, wait a minute. She's a, she, this is your pastor and he's sleeping with the women or this is your pastor and he's living a, a gay lifestyle. Oh no, we, we, we must criticize that. Oh, but because she's a, a, a so-called Muslim, as you would say, now all of a sudden there is an issue with it. And then you wonder why these dudes don't get any respect from these ladies. Okay. No respect. Let me tell you something. I, I grew up in the black church and, um, my grandma used to always say, it is okay for you to come as you are, but it is not okay for you to stay as you are, all right? And if you were a young woman at that particular time and you come into the black church looking like this, they'll give you one shot. But the next Sunday, you're not coming into the house of God looking like that. They will pull you out quick, quick. Oh no, you're not gonna come up in here looking like that, baby. No, you gotta change. Even certain restaurants, I was in a restaurant in Lagos um, and, and me and Rachel happened to be there. We were there with another young lady who is very busty, extremely. So they wouldn't even let us get into the restaurant. Uh, first of all, cause I had shoes on. So I think I had to go home and change, but she had a, her boobies all out. So what they did was they basically, it was the Cappadocia restaurant in Lagos by, by the way. What they did was they took and found her a shirt. They found her a shirt. They made her put it on. We had to like rent a sweater because her, her, her boobies were so big. They didn't want them out there. And, and that's a restaurant. Why? Because it brings down the quality of the restaurant to make people think that the restaurant is trash. Okay. And I hate to say this, any religion that allows Brittany Render to come in and keep those pictures up there. Do you wanna know what people will think about you in your religion? They're gonna have somewhat of a similar ID, idea that Islam is anything, anything goes now, which is not true, which is not true. But if you're a man in Islam and you go for this, what are people gonna think about you? What are they gonna think about you? You would never let somebody, and is it because you're attracted to her? And now you're gonna come after a guy who's saying that, yo, she's trying to rebrand herself. Yes, she's trying to rebrand herself. And the reason you can't go to Christianity because Christianity has become such a damn liberal religion with no rules. So it, it, you, you can't come to Christianity anymore like you used to when people took Christianity seriously. Nobody takes Christianity seriously like that anymore. You can do whatever you want. You can dress however you want to dress in Christianity. You can talk however you want to talk in Christianity and nobody takes it seriously. But Islam is the last standing religion where you can't just do whatever you want to do in, in Islam. No, you have to actually be somebody that's respectful in Islam. Women have to come, uh, have to be a certain way all over the world, even here in Uganda. There are certain things you can't eat. There are certain things you can't drink. I know plenty of ladies who are who are Islam and 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 and, and they ain't drinking no alcohol at all. You damn sure can't eat pork. Now they'll be out there at the club, they'll be doing their twerking stuff. But hey, no, you 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 can't just do whatever you want to do in Islam. You can't. Now this guy wants you to be able to do whatever you want and then come after people talking about you don't understand it. Well, clearly, hold on. Oh, well, you don't understand Islam. Clearly, you don't understand it. What are you talking about, bro? And I know you're going to email me because you'd be out there simping like that. I know that you're going to email me and be and be mad. I get it. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't care. I don't care because you want to know why you guys are ruining the culture. I seen it happen in the Christian church. Let people do whatever they want, whenever they feel like it, whenever they desire. It is not a good thing. Okay. It's not, and it needs to stop. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again, with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate sure for all you do, share the bill, we're out.